Howdy everyone, it's me Zombie and welcome back to my Happy Cosplay channel. Today I am going to be styling my Nicoletta wig from Devil May Cry 5. I'm also going to be creating wefts and adding those wefts into the wig. I will be doing it with the help of today's sponsor, which is Surebonder. Surebonder makes a bunch of adhesives and bonding tools, and they have been so generous, and they've sent me a bunch of really cool hot glue stuff, and I knew as soon as I got this stuff exactly what I wanted to use it for, and it is this wig. Now you may be thinking, hot glue is kind of like a weird thing to be creating wefts with, or using to style wigs, and I've gotten some flack for doing this in the past because it's really not like the traditional way of making wefts and styling wigs. However, I have found that it works extremely well, and it's cheap, it's easy, it's fast, anyone can do it, so I do hope that you will give this method a chance, or at least, you know, watch it and see how well it works for me, and maybe if you're feeling adventurous, you can try it out yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to the crafting table. So here's the wig we're gonna be working with today. It is a Danny wig from Arta Wigs, and the color is deep brown. The first thing you may notice here is that this wig is very long, and Nico's hair is only about shoulder length, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all the way around, but I'm gonna be saving the extra hair because we're gonna be making that into wefts. And I'm even cutting it a bit longer than I think it needs to be. And I'm just gonna keep all the hair over here. Here's the new length for the hair. Next, what I'm gonna do is thin out the ends with some thinning shears. And I like doing this by separating sections of the hair and going under the hair and just doing it cutting three times and kind of combing out what's left. Now I'm going to put these guys over here so they're safe while I'm doing all this cutty cutty stuff. And I make sure to be really gentle while doing this because you don't want to pull out any wefts. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the whole wig. Here's what the ends are looking like so far. They're looking a bit more natural, a little bit more thinned out, like it would be on a real head of hair. So I'm just gonna keep combing this out and touching it up, and then we can move on. Nico has like this really cute, kind of like rockabilly teased hairstyle and I wanna be able to make it be very voluminous, just like it is in the game. To do that, I'm gonna be adding some extra wefts, and I'm gonna be doing that using the hair <laughs> that we just trimmed off. So we're gonna be making some wefts, and then attaching them to some of these sewn-in weft rows that we already have right here. And we'll be doing that with the help of our new glue gun today, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we gotta clean up all this hair. Oh boy. <laughs> what do you think, Neeners? You don't really care, as long as it's not near you, huh? <laughs> so I have my first three little hair tufts that I will be transforming into wefts. And first, I'm gonna be putting on some got to be glued invincible styling gel. I'm just gonna be applying a generous amount with my fingers onto the ends right here. And I'm just holding the hair in place and then applying it generously. Now I'm just kind of squishing it into a weft shape. And I'll just be doing this with the rest of my hair pieces. Now while I'm waiting on my army of wefts to dry over here, I'm gonna put this wig up in some pin curls just because when I brushed it and thinned out the edges, it kind of, all the curls kind of disappeared. It's still got a nice wave, but Nico's hair is pretty bouncy and curly. So I just want to bring some of those curlies back. And now I'm doing these pin curls. I'm just taking a section of hair and then I'm just going to wrap it around my finger like this. 
and then keeping it in place. Whoa! <laughs> and this can be a little fidgety sometimes. And after I get a curl that I like, I'm going to lay it down on the wig and pin it in place with a couple of bobby pins. Actually looks like that one will be good. Some bigger chunks of hair will take two. This is fine just how it is. And I'm gonna do that a few sections at a time. I'm gonna start on the top of the wig and then move down. And I'm just gonna do that with the whole head. So here's the first set of pin curls that I put in the hair. How I'm gonna set these is I'm going to heat them very carefully with my heat gun on a low heat setting. I'm just going to do it until I feel that these curls are warm and then I'm going to let it cool. I'm gonna wait until these curls are room temperature and then I'm gonna let them out and see how they look. All right, now that this is to room temperature and it's cooled down, I'm gonna start taking down some curls. All right, so there she is after the pin curls. And I'll probably go through some of the under layers and add some more curls as well, just to help make it a little bit more poofy. And then I'm just gonna wait on my wefts to dry and then we're gonna Put those suckers in there. All right, my wefts are now dried for the most part. So I'm gonna start just cutting the gelled ends just so they're straight. You see this one's kind of scraggly. I'm just gonna cut it so it's a bit more even. That's still not as dry as I'd like, but I'm just gonna let that settle as is. Get rid of that weird little scraggly bit. And I'm gonna do the same for these. Now that my little wefties are cut, I'm gonna let them dry for the rest of the way, and then we will move on. All right, so I've gotten the green silicone mat back out, and I have an idea for this. So I have my Sherbonder Detail hot glue gun, the one with the small nozzle. It's a high temp gun, and I'm also using the glue sticks that came in the package as well. So I'm gonna be making my own wefts by putting down a little line of hot glue here. I'm putting the hair gelled hair pieces in that glue very carefully. It's kind of smooshing it down. And then I'm gonna go over the top with another line of glue. And there's our little weft. I'm actually gonna use this other silicone pad to kind of mush this down just a little bit, just to sandwich it. And this just ensures it'll get in all the fibers and it'll make it a bit thinner as well. So I'm gonna press that down and I'll wait for it to dry. Oh my gosh, that works so cool! Neat, okay. So I'm just gonna pull this back up. Oh my gosh, that works so well. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to expect with using these silicone uh, bits, but now I'm just gonna cut off the extra glue and there is our new hot glue weft. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one aside and do the exact same thing with the rest of them. Before we put the wefts in I'm gonna make Nico's headband. She has like this braided headband and one piece is black, one's gray, and one is a darker gray. So I have this black knit already that I'm just going to uh, throw aside since it's already the right color. And I'm going to color these two straps of this white colored knit fabric with the gray and the dark gray. And I'm just doing that with some acrylic paint and some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything up and get to painting. And now that these are painted, I'm gonna go ahead and braid this part up. Here's what it looks like when it is completely braided. Yes, the paint got all over my fingers, but the hairband is done. I threw that little headpiece in the dryer real quick just so it can finish drying up. 
so we can put it on our wig without it being wet. And while that's drying, I'm gonna add these wefts in. So I've sectioned off a part of the hair and I decided to put some wefts in this spot right here. It's because that's where I'm gonna be uh, doing some teasing with the other parts and that's where I want some extra volume. So I have my glue gun here that is warming up. Let's see if she's ready. Looks like she's still got some clear hot glue inside, but I actually have this black hot glue stick right here. I think that'll help everything blend a lot better. And should I have been making these wefts with the black hot glue instead of the clear? Maybe that would have been good, but honestly, I just didn't think of it. <laughs> but we're gonna be doing it now. Let's get the rest of that clear glue out of there. Oh, and there's the black. All right, wow, that is so cool. I'm just gonna start adding this weft right here. And I'm doing it pretty much on this lace part right there. And I'm gonna put my weft right in there. Kind of put some glue on top of it as well. All right, and I'm just gonna hold this hair up and let it dry just like that. And I really like how that black looks on everything. It really helps blend everything in, I think. <laughs> Definitely should have made the west with the black hot glue as well, but this is working okay so far, I'd say. And since we already have this part exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working right around the center here. Put that right there. And I'll dab either side of that with some black hot glue as well. And I'm still using the same detail hot glue gun as before, which I think is working really well so far. And I'm gonna just keep doing this with the rest of my wefts until all of them are installed. All right, so here is our weft situation right now with that black glue. I think that it's definitely helped it blend in. However, there is still some of like the white hot glue that's showing through right here. And that wouldn't have been a problem had I used the black hot glue to make the wefts, which I'll definitely do in the future. But since I didn't do that, I'm gonna take some dark brown acrylic paint and just touch up these glue areas right here, just in case some hair moves around and these peek through, uh, it won't be as noticeable. I'm just using watered down acrylic paint for this and just going over and touching everything up. And as you can see, that's already making a big difference with how visible everything is. So now that everything is all touched up with paint, I'm going to rest the hair over my wefts just to see what our volume situation is like right now. <laughs> and it is crazy how much more volume those wefts added. I got a little poofy in the back of my hair. That's fantastic. So now that we have our little weft guys in there, I'm gonna go ahead and style the rest of the wig. And I'm just styling this like you would normal hair. I'm using hairspray and bobby pins and I'm just kind of messing around with stuff and seeing what looks good and seeing what works. And I'm also doing some teasing, lots of teasing <laughs> for Nico's big hair. So here's the style so far. I think we're almost done with this. I just want to put on the hairband and do a little bit more adjusting with the hair. So there she is, she's all styled, her wefts are all added. And now that the wig is all done being styled, I really wanna try it on, so I'll be right back. And here's the wig, all done, I really like it. And I also did a makeup test and have my glasses on and all. This turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I can't wait to have this cosplay done because I love Nico so much and I can't wait to cosplay her. I'd also like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you all so much. You guys make videos like this possible. I love chatting with you guys and hanging out with you guys on Patreon. And if you all are interested in joining me on Patreon, you get access to all my costumes and videos early, behind the scenes, sneaky peekies, and you also get access to my Discord community. Now I'm gonna go transform back into non Nico Grace to present the Makers of the Week. This week's Makers of the Week include Lola V Cosplay, who made this amazing Batgirl cosplay. She looks just like her. 
And I love that you even did the same pose as her in the photo. You look awesome. Thank you so much for showing me. Next, we have Why This Guy 95, who showed me a painting he's been working on. I really like this. I love like night sky scenes, and you nailed it. It's so cool. Thank you so much for showing me your painting. And lastly, we have Boneless Chicken Cosplay, who made this Bucky Barnes arm. I love it. It looks so cool. Metal robot arms are like the coolest thing ever, and you nailed it. Thank you so much for showing me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, I do hope that you'll press the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe. I love talking to everyone in the comments section. I love seeing what you guys create as well. So if you're working on a cosplay, a painting, a prop, whatever you like to make, I would love to see it. I'm Zombies Workshop on Twitter and Instagram. So I do hope to see y'all over there. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye everyone. My head cut off. Now it's too high.